Hey guys, do you want to update your outdated bathroom like this one into a new modern looking bathroom like this one? By the end of this video, you will know what steps I took and what materials I used to gut renovate this bathroom for under $3,000 material cost. The first part of the project was to do demolition. We ripped everything off. We took out the old tub that was there originally. It was this uh, disgusting fitted bathroom disaster. It was all moldy and yellow. So we got rid of that. Got rid of this uh, small vanity that I spoke about earlier. Um, got rid of the toilet. Ripped up the old uh, tiles that were there originally. And everything went to the trash. Demolition cost me zero dollars because I did it myself. And the whole project was ongoing. So all that trash just went into one big dumpster. Once the demolition was done, it was time for the electrician to wire the place. So he rewired everything. Um, the cost of that was about 200 bucks for this bathroom because he was rewiring the whole house. So he was able to give me a deal. When you break it down, it came out to about $200. But he rewired for a new GFCI, new switches. We got a nice light up here. This was fairly cheap from Home Depot. And a new vent, which originally there was none here. But it also has a cool light. So you can have two settings in a bathroom, which is something that I like. The cost to do the electrical phase of this bathroom was around $300. Next step was to do the plumbing. Um, the plumbing in this town, I was able to do myself since we own the house. I didn't have to hire a plumber as long as everything passed inspection. So I installed a new tub, ran all new PVC into the uh, drain system, and then installed a new shower body. This was Delta, $65, I believe. Um, the tub was around 120 or so, and all the other plumbing materials possibly cost me around fifty dollars i believe so the entire plumbing cost me about four to five hundred dollars with the materials and my labor because i'm the one who did it so i didn't have to pay a plumber to do that the next step was to drywall and waterproof everything so everywhere you see here there's moisture resistant sheetrock or green sheetrock as we call it and then this entire area the shower area was waterproof with red guard it was double coated We'll upload some photos of that. Um, the waterproofing and all the materials for the drywall part were around $170. So once the drywall was done, next step was to lay the tiles. So the floor tiles and the wall tiles can both be found at the Home Depot. Um, both of those tiles cost me around $300. It was $60 for the floor and $240 for the walls. Um, obviously, there's a small amount for the floor. Um, the grout that I used was alabaster for the walls and pewter gray for the floors, respectively, so it matches. Um, then I used these little J moldings here, as you can see all around the trims and on top for that difference. Um, actually, very nice look, we really like that. So all of those materials cost me around $350 with all the uh, thin set, which is the glue they use to keep the tiles in place and the tiles themselves. Once I got all the tiles finished, um, I purchased the vanity. The vanity and the sink cost me around $400 together. Well, that'll be in the description as well. Um, it's a three foot vanity, right out of the Home Depot. Very nice and spacious on the inside, has two drawers. Um, so you could put all your, like your, you know, shampoos and stuff. Um, this nice, uh, cabinet, which has mirrors on the inside as well. I believe this was $110 or $120. We'll, we'll double check that. Um, the toilet was $99. It's Glacier Bay. Um, nothing fancy, but it's a toilet. And the light was $24. Um, I forgot to mention the shower door. That was a $300 piece. It's a custom shower door, meaning you buy it and then you could cut it to size, the frame. So this frame gets cut to size of the opening. Um, it could be used up to six foot, my height, which is great, but uh, we decided to go a little bit lower. Um, then we had these little finishing pieces. This is where you could put a towel, small towel. Um, this is the toilet paper holder. We have a rope hook on the back of the, uh, the front door to the bathroom. We decided not to put anything here only because 
once the potential buyer takes over the house, they can put something that they like or maybe some sort of shelving or of some sort. But the uh, extra accessories and the shower door cost around $350. Um, we splashed a lot of cash on the vanity, the cabinet and the mirror and the shower door only because at that point we were way under $2,500 and decided let's make the bathroom a little bit nicer than expected. But now that you saw how we did this bathroom for under $3,000 for the material cost, leave a comment below. Let me know which material you like the best, if you like the design, what you would have done differently, and if you have any questions in general, I'd love to answer. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more information and more tricks, ins and outs on the home remodeling industry. See you in the next video.